thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. My name is Paula Jean, and this is where I'll be making family recipes and trying new and exciting recipes. So grab your pad and pencil and let's get cooking. Let's make some coconut chicken today. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of olive oil in my skillet. And I have about one pound of chicken tenders. They're still kind of partially frozen. Some pieces are more thought out than others. And we're just going to brown this on both sides. Okay, I'm just going to sprinkle some salt and pepper on that. And right now my heat is on, almost on high. All right, as soon as this is nice and brown, I'll be back. So this has been cooking for about 10 minutes on medium heat. And it's nice and golden, so I'm gonna be removing this from the pan. And now I have six tablespoons of chicken broth. All right. And I'm just going to scrape up the bits from the bottom of the pan. And I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Now to this I am going to add two cloves of garlic minced. And three quarters of a teaspoon of dried cilantro. I have one teaspoon of lemon peel. One teaspoon of 
brown ginger. An eighth of a teaspoon of brown cumin. I'm turning that on low. A pinch of turmeric. So to me, that's about an eighth of a teaspoon of turmeric also. Now let's stir this up a little bit. And to this, I am going to add one cup of reduced fat coconut milk. There, now I'm turning my temperature back up to medium. Now, it never fails. I go grocery shopping and I forget at least one thing that I never put on my list and one of those things was onions. If I had a fresh onion I would have taken one medium chopped onion and sauteed it after I took the chicken out of the pan but I don't have any fresh onions so I have some Dehydrated onion, dehydrated onion flakes, and I'm gonna put about oh, that looks like a couple of tablespoons. Now to this, I am also going to add um, a teaspoon of sugar or sugar substitute if you're watching your carbs. my monk fruit because monk fruit one teaspoon of monk fruit would equal one teaspoon of sugar I was going to put trulia in but trulia is really concentrated and I didn't want to put too much in and have it too sweet so let's get a teaspoon of monk fruit and about a quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Ooh, that's a little too much, Paula. All right. Now we're going to let this cook for a few minutes. Okay. 
Now I'm going to put my chicken back in the pan. Okay, I'm putting the heat on medium low and I'm going to put the lid on and let it cook for about oh, 10 minutes until the chicken is cooked all the way through. Okay, that's been cooking for 10 minutes. And now I'm going to push my chicken off to the side a little bit. And I have a tablespoon of red chili paste mixed with a little water to loosen it up. I'm going to put that right in here. I'm going to be serving this with some nice basmati rice that I have cooking right now. And we're going to have sugar snap peas. But before this is through, I have some unsweetened shredded coconut. And I'm going to take a good handful and just put it all over. So there's my dish. I hope you try it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a new recipe. I hope everyone is enjoying their day, and don't forget, stay safe.